All right, I got this uh, Lou Speedcast. That's uh, cheap reel. Got to have an extra one on a boat or if the wife wanted to go fishing. And uh, we're gonna do a uh, bushing upgrade to a bearing. First thing is to take it apart. Which we're gonna do right now. got three screws hold the side cover on and this here are the plastic bushings that we're going to replace with ball bearings The other one is tucked down in there. I want to pry that out. Alright, so I've got this little awl right here. Go ahead and uh, pop out that pop out that other plastic bushing. Now the important thing is let's get a good measurement. Here I have some dial calipers that can either go to inch or metric most of these bearings on Amazon or eBay are going to be all measured in millimeters this is the important part got to get a good reading on the OD which is 14 the ID inner diameter Is seven. And the last one you need to know is how thick it is. This one here is 3.5 millimeters thick. So now the search is on on the internet to find the bearing that's going to work for us. Alright, so for $10, I found this factory team Associated Electronics, which is RC car. I found exactly what I was looking for. 7 by 14 by 3.5. Four bearings was like $10 on eBay from an RC uh, racing shop called A10. Or A Team. A Team. So. These are the bearings that I got right here. Do a quick measurement to make sure they match. Fourteen. Seven. Three and a half. Okay, now it's the install. Pretty straightforward. Just fit in like a glove. Snap right in. We got this little washer. It's a bit of a spacer. See that, that fit is perfect.
put the reel back on, put the reel handle back on. And there you go. A lot smoother, a lot better. No, no play side to side right here on the handle. It's still a twenty dollar reel. It's not a Zebco Omega. Uh, that's a hundred dollar reel, but it is an improvement.